miscellaneous stuff. Uh, and, and then uh, that, that might go on for 15, 20, 30 minutes, and then we'll have a break. Uh, the bathroom is right in there, and uh, the drinks are still out there. And uh, then we're going to show some pictures. We'll pull up, there's a, there's a, uh, a screen right here. And uh, I want to show a half a dozen pictures, no, maybe a dozen, 15 pictures of, uh, that I got out of my file from Pica Nation and other people might have uh, pictures and uh, conversation about it. Um, and we'll open it up to any, anything that anybody uh, wants to talk about, so long as it's hiking. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I want to introduce a few people uh, that you might know about, but I got a telephone call in 1976, maybe. Yeah, 1976. I had tried, the two years before, I, I sold a, a story to Bill Kensley, who owned and was editor and publisher of Backpacker, about the Florida Trail. So he knew who he was, I knew who he was, and he called me up and said, there's gonna be a hearing in Washington about, uh, is this okay? What, louder? You're loud enough, but yeah, a little bit louder. All right. Getting filmed, you guys. Okay. <laughs> so uh, he, uh, he was telling me about a hearing in Washington. Uh, there were going to be some amendments to the 1968 National Trail System Act. 1978 was approaching, and he was trying to drum up people to come. Uh, and speak. So, at that point, I think, at a very early stage, he was already talking to Paul Pritchard. Paul, is that, is that, is that true? So, Paul was the executive director of the Appalachian Trail Conference, as it was called in those days. And, and, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Paul, but I, Kemsley called me first, and the idea was, since I had founded the Florida Trail Association, you know, maybe I would come to why I felt very provincial. I mean, I felt like I didn't know what was going on around the rest of the country. We had our hands full with a winter hiking trail here, free of snow in December and January, February. But anyway, as a result of that phone call, I went to Washington and spoke in favor of national trails. <coughs> And at the end of that hearing, Kemsley, Kern, and Pritchard were talking among themselves about how nobody else showed up. Destry Jarvis showed up for the, uh, I forget, uh, Paul, was he employed by, by uh, National Parks and Conservation? Yes, Destry was my staff person. He called Bill and asked Bill to come down and testify. Okay. And that's how Bill got involved in it. So I was at National Parks and Conservation Association. I thought you were the executive director uh, of the AT at that point. No, it had been. No. Hey, go ahead. No, correct me, please. It, that, it, that's I, not I right. I what you're saying. I like it better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we're making history here. So, so anyway, um, after that, individually, and maybe collectively, at some point, the three of us got talking. And we were commiserating about the fact that nobody else showed up. So far, right? Great. All right, <laughs> interrupt me anytime. So, so, what to do? <coughs> and one of the two of them, either Paul or Bill, said something about we ought to have a, a national organization that focuses on hiking, not just the environment, not just uh, birding like the Audubon Society. I thought maybe they might show up. But as a result of that, the three of us wanted to keep talking. And that resulted, because I lived in Florida, and you were in Harper's Ferry at the time, right? And Bill was in Connecticut. We met at a... At a, <coughs> at a convenient place for the three of us, which was in the, in the mountains 
in Western North Carolina in Brevard. And we set aside three days to talk about an organization that would represent all the hikers in America. We had no idea for a name, nobody, nobody, we didn't, it was too premature, we weren't even talking about that. But for three days, we talked about the goals <coughs> of such an organization, the objectives. And uh, then, as a result of that, Paul's special talent and contribution to the American Hiking Society was absolutely beginning at this point, because I did, I'm down in Florida. I don't know what's going on around the country. Bill's running a magazine. But Paul sort of handpicked the board of directors. And he did this terrific job. Paul, would you name some of the guys yeah. uh, that were on that first board? From Seattle, Judy. Mm -hmm. From Washington, a lawyer we needed, Chuck Sloan. Oh, yeah. Uh, from, I mean, they were, they were just wonderful people. Well, the, the, the superintendent of uh, Grand Canyon National Park, what was his name? Yeah, uh, I don't, don't remember that that was one of... Uh, Tom Deans, you, Tom you, Deans, you, you tapped him. Tom Deans, Club. Yeah, uh, and so on. Yeah. Wasn't there, I'm just, I'm sorry, wasn't there somebody from REI? Or is that just a dream of mine? <laughs> <laughs> Maurice? So anyway, it was a, it was a it was a great contribution to where we wanted to go, and so we had a board meeting, and I guess it was probably Paul who picked the location, uh, a little inn in a super location in in Washington D.C. called the Tabard Inn, yes. and Bill, I mean uh, Paul, I think we 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 grabbed chairs and pulled them into a in the hallway. And we, so here we are having a meeting, and uh, of the first board of directors, I don't think Chuck was at that meeting. He made, he did the paperwork, <coughs> didn't think anything, maybe didn't think anything was going to come of this, but you know, <laughs> little did he know. And so, and so, Richard, Kemsley, and Kern, you know, are, are, pushing this idea, and Pritchard has put together a board, and now we're talking about forming this organization. We have, a, we have a complete board, and now we're in the business of creation. And somebody speaks up, and I think it was Bill Kemsley who said, we have to do something major, significant, to let the country know that we're up and running our, our mission, our nonprofit organization, the focus of it is on hiking. That's exactly right. And then, <laughs> and then, and then, he says, let's hike across America. <laughs> and that, guys, no, 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 you said I wanted, that. You said that. Oh, uh, we're putting the blame you on you. <laughs> <laughs> To know this, this is this is a this is a good you know you're getting it as close as we can get today. This is this is why this hike came about. Now, they tapped me because I had started a hiking organization that seemed to be doing well, the Florida Trail Association. So, Paul has an organization to run. Kemsley has a magazine to run, and. I'm working for myself, so nobody's over me watching the clock. So that was a good idea, Kemsley's, to make me president. That's, that, that, that's what happened. So, so, um, so after that, I immediately thought, it's going to start in L.A. and end in the steps of the Capitol. But then, in Chuck Sloan's office, when we're gathering, this was a fabulous moment in hiking history. It really, it really is. Yeah. We are gathering to sign on as, as board members, and this lanky guy walks in. With his wife. With his wife, happens to be in Washington at the time. <laughs> that was a coincidence. And takes a back seat. And I heard his name, 
And I'm not, I'm not well connected, but this, this name rang a bell with me. I don't know why. But his last name was Seaborg. And I'm thinking this can't be, it can't be the chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission. At that time, I think he was chairman, at, at, he was chairman of the uh, University of California, I, mean, I think, chairman of the board. Uh, but no, anyway, Nobel laureate. Huh? Nobel yeah. laureate. Yeah. Nobel laureate. And he's sitting in the back room and he's ours. I couldn't believe what was happening. <laughs> so after the meeting, he makes me a proposition. He says, if you start the hike in San Francisco, I'll lay out the route to Nevada. <laughs> Am I going to think twice about that? <laughs> So that's what happened, guys. That's that's how that's how it started. And Glenn then began to. He and his wife on the weekends would go out and lay out this route. This route. Now, to, now to the dissatisfaction of, of of those first few days of hiking by Hike Nation, it was the length of his legs. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Seaboard yes. 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 miles. Oh, my <laughs> and I remember in the hills behind Berkeley, oh, seeing Butch Henley take her boots off. <laughs> and I don't think she ever got rid of the blisters for the next 14 months. I mean, I think, <laughs> I think they were formed on that, on that day. So there was grumbling about that. But who, who could have had, the Bay Bridge had never been closed. There were no sidewalks. And we ended up, we, Let's all take credit for this. We end up closing two lanes of that Bay Bridge so we could hike across it. Let's thank Glenn Seaborg for that, and all, among many other things. So it was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was great. And that morning, they have fog every day, every morning, till 11 or 12. There was no fog. And the city comes out to join us walking across one lane for hikers and one lane is a safety lane. Every paper, it's in the scrapbooks. This, I haven't looked at this yet, but it's in the one that I'm giving to, to uh, Larry in due course. But anyway, um, every paper in the Bay Bridge had this photo, this terrific photo with the, these intrepid hikers starting for Washington, D.C. across it was a great photograph, wasn't it? I mean, you've all seen it. It's classic. So that was that was how that was how the hike started. But, but Jim, please. Yeah. So you were there at the very beginning. Bill and I were not. Okay. You were there under the bridge that night. Yeah. Candles. You were there when Wendy's was the only sponsor. Yeah. And said they would give us coupons and so forth. Yeah. And suddenly the highway department says, we're not going to make possible the bridge. We have a liability issue. And Glenn calls me and says, what do, we, what do you have? That was like two weeks before. That's right. Mm -hmm. That was two weeks before. We are confronted with a crisis. <laughs> the, the, the stories that are offshoots of this whole thing, I'd love to talk to you all night about this, but I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to condense it. But anyway... We had a super crisis because we were told at the 11th hour that we couldn't hike across unless we could find insurance. Mm -hmm. And Paul, didn't you didn't you find you weren't you the lead guy on this? I, I was, but and because I was controlling billions, literally dollars, as a deputy director in the Department of Interior. I was able to, to bring that up, but the key was Glenn, honestly. Really? To be able to use his name and say, Glenn Seaborg would like to talk to you. I see. The highway department said, all right. <laughs> no. Two hours, we'll make it available. No, no, wait a minute. Okay. We still had to find insurance. Yeah. No, I, we, we had that. We, I said, we will take care of it. Yeah. And that, that was all they needed to hear. Somebody gave me a, a tip to an insurance company. And I thought it was you. And I called them up. Yeah. And over the phone, I lined up a policy. 2000 bucks for three hours. 
of liability insurance for the hikers. Mm -hmm. wow. And, and they bargain. didn't get the money in hand until 6 a.m., 7 a.m. that Sunday morning. You know, the crowd had already... We, I could have pledged and kept the money, but I didn't. I, I gave it to him. And, and, but, but I thought it was you. What happened to that money, Jim? I was going to split that. Is that, why, is that how we got to Anchorage? No, but anyway. Was that a lot of money at that time, or was that reasonable? Oh, a freaking fortune. <laughs> no, That's actually a bargain. Right? No, I got two gifts. Yeah. We did this with no money. Right. We, you know, remember the remember the newsletter. I don't know if you remember, but it was a dollar a year. Yeah. For the newsletter. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. And then there was an answering machine in my office where people could call in yeah. and say, "I've read in Backpacker Magazine about Hike Nation, and, and can I join in?" The Plains, what's the name of that place where we spent a Christmas? West Plains. West Plains? West Plains. West Plains? Missouri. Right. That's the name? I got it wrong all these years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, West Plains. I'll be in West Plains. So then I'd call Monty, and I would say, Monty, when are we going to be in West Plains? Then I'd get in touch with this person, and I'd say, yeah. meet our group. This was around Christmas time, wasn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I joined. Yep. I joined the group. Then. So that's how people could come and go from the hike. For 14 months, you could come and go. It, because of money, it was a terrific opportunity. Oh, yeah. Jim, Jim, to, can you, Bonnie is a patron saint of this effort. Yes, mm -hmm. oh, yes. Yeah. Describe, I don't know really how he got involved. Okay. <laughs> Anybody that wants to start an organization, I got some advice. <laughs> first of all, read your mail. That's first. <laughs> Because you get letters from people who hear about it from anywhere and everywhere. Can I bring my llama? Well, no, maybe not. I've got an Airstream trailer. Can I help? Aha. Uh -huh. That's gone. <laughs> Monty came all the way down from, where was he from? Macomb, Illinois. Macomb, Illinois. Macomb, Illinois. Macomb, Illinois. Where? Macomb, Illinois. Illinois. Yeah. He came all the way down. Of course, it was, it was winter time. You know, it was a nice time to visit Florida. And, and so he came down and we kicked this whole thing around for two or three days, just what he would do and, and what my responsibilities were and what the problems might be and so on. So, so uh, and other good things happened because oddball people who <laughs> like oddball ideas, they hear or they see about this stuff and they write. So my advice to people who want to tackle something like this, you know, or something similar. I got a question, Jim. Yeah. Real quick. How many of the state coordinators signed on before the beginning of the hike? Did we have it all lined up? Oh, no. No? <laughs> well, we were winging it. We were about a day or two. Monty was out there scouting the next hike, wasn't he? <laughs> wasn't he looking for the next campsite? Oh, yeah. 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 We were ahead of we were about 48 hours ahead of you. <laughs> how, did, how did Monty hear about it? Who? How did Monty hear about it? Well, he may have heard about it in Backpacker Magazine. Well, why Probably did. did. Why would he be reading that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know the answer. In, in, in truth, Tish, I don't know the answer. Probably. Because we got lots of, we got lots of info from people who picked up on it. Mm -hmm. And that was the great thing. We had we, we had a very well-connected guy in Washington, up right up the river in, in uh, Harper's Ferry. In Harper's Ferry. Yeah. And we had a guy who owned a magazine. The magazine, the best magazine. Yeah, there I, were three at the time, one only one today. But that helped American Hiking Society terrifically, and it helped Hike and Nation terrifically. It gave us, oh, yeah. Credit. So anyway, uh, that that was just. I don't want to talk too long about it. I better shut up. But anyway, well, that's. We got the, that entertainment slideshow, Jim. I know. <laughs> we got all night too. <laughs> what time is it? What time is it? Who cares? We've got time. It is halfway between your suites. Any anyway, 
Anyway, I wanted to tell you things that you might not have ever heard. And that was, that, that's some of it. And uh, so once the hike began, you guys were in touch. I'm back in Miami, I'm out of touch. I'm depending on Monty calling me to discuss what the problems were and what the successes were. And I do know, was it Pizza Hut who had this Wednesday deal yes. of all you could, Yes, yeah, oh, these yeah, guys. These guys would eat eat uh, Pizza Huts out of house of home. I don't know if they ever recovered. <laughs> it was every lunch. It was all you could eat lunch. Yeah. All you could eat lunch. Oh yeah. Is yeah. that it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I bet you there are yeah. Pizza Huts yeah. scattered across America that went out of business. Because <laughs> 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 question about the insurance was it Lloyd's of London that got the insurance? No, it was uh, a, an insurance company uh, up in Minnesota. Maybe Michigan, or Michigan, somewhere like Michigan or Minnesota. And by the time they got their check, we were already across the bridge. But we so honored it. What kind of problems did Monty call you about? Good question, don't you think? Yeah, that's between Monty and me. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, for the for the uh, for friends who were here tonight and, and weren't part of this 1980 1981 event, it just you know they're going to talk all weekend about it, and and that and they they should. The problem is is we talk and people don't remember now, Tim. It's <laughs> oh. They used to remember. And we're like, okay. Oh, no, <laughs> Except for one of us. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, ask me. Oh really? Oh, oh yeah. please. Give him a taste. I drag him away. Give him a taste. <laughs> but honestly, guys, if you think about it, no one hires you. If you See? think about it, what an amazing feat, honestly. Yeah. yeah. These per people were well-established, well-known hikers. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. They just had a, They just had this. Oh, they followed this crazy idea <laughs> of a walk across America, and, and we all lived. Awesome. And uh, we have these wonderful memories, and so yeah. it makes yeah. even still today, 40 years yeah, later, so 42 years when later, you started it's, it's still great. Thing. What were your wildest dreams of what would happen? Because <laughs> oh. I've heard they were much different than that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we're going to walk across America, folks. I'm just a born optimist. We're going to do it. I, I don't know. Uh, where in the heck was I going to find the money? Because we almost did this like with mirrors. I got a $10,000 check from Wendy's only because in Miami, the guy that owned the franchise down there at Fisherman's Wharf had a Wendy's right there. And he, if you remember, in your packet, there was an invitation to stop at the Wendy's. He paid $10,000. For that. Wow, well, he I didn't also know that. Did. That's a good thing. And ten thousand dollars from post. There's a registration. That was it. Yeah. yeah. I thought you thought. Uh, I thought I remember you thinking that you didn't think you'd have so many newbies that it'd be more of a hard, uh, a Pro hardcore. Yes. Hard yes. 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 I, and and I got to now. I got to tell you, yes. we got to quit. You know, but I'm going to tell you this funny story. <laughs> <laughs> so who's a newbie and who's experienced? So we're meeting, we didn't have the money to, to, to find out who was coming and who was serious and who, and who was going to do this and, who was, and should we rule anybody out. We didn't have the money to determine whether there was anybody that we should rule out. No prerequisites. So there was no prerequisites <laughs> to steps, you know? So here we are meeting for the first time in the basement yes. of the Methodist Church. And everybody's meeting everybody yes. for the first time. And... And it was it was quite an evening, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. I wasn't there. No, yes, I, I missed the meeting. I was sick for the airport. All right. Yes. <laughs> but it was so easy to join because of the tape recorder in my office. You know, that's, that's, yeah. that was a good, that worked. What was that meeting? What meeting are you talking about? Night before we're going to leave. Yeah, the Methodist Church. The, 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 the night, oh, yeah. the the night before the event. Okay. The event. Okay. We are meeting for the first time. 
Tony, that's the harsh reality where he saw a couple with a baby, he saw Shelly, he saw John Stout, he had already met me, and the rest of the gang, and pray to hell we'd make it. Yeah, I thought that I was in Hawaii. Huh? I thought we met in Hawaii. Sure. No, we met in the basement of the Methodist Church. Yeah. But some of yeah. us booked in at the YMCA. The YMCA and we, was for sleeping. Before. Yeah, two or three days before. Yeah. We kind of met there. Yeah. It was the night before. Okay. So, so I want to tell you this story. It was the night after we crossed the bridge, we were in the Berkeley Hills, right? For some yeah. park. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of green space there. Yeah. Lake so, Anza. So, imagine me and my job and my responsibilities. I see a woman sitting on the grass, fumbling with her tent poles, and I can tell she didn't know what she was doing. <laughs> and she's going to hike across America? That's the kind of thing, you know, surprising. <laughs> so I chatted her up, you know, and, and I forget what I said, but I was very definitely worried about her. The next morning, I don't know her name, the next morning, you guys have had a horrifically long day. Everybody's sleeping in. I get out of my tent. There's one person up, and she's doing leg stretching. <laughs> and it was this woman. So, she didn't know anything about tents. She quit her job one week before to join the hike. She knew nothing about hiking, but she was very fit. So, you know, you, you know, it's, yeah, you can't prejudge these things. I don't know how long she was with us, but anyway. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, it was like that all the way across America. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, I'd like to, I've, I've introduced wait, Paul. Wait. Applause for all of you guys. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Larry Luxembourg. Larry's right here, and I don't know if everyone knows Larry, but uh, but if you hike, you you you, you want to know him. Um, he was he was in his twenties or thirties when you set out on Spring Run. Twenties. Oh, twenties. He had decided that he wanted to hike the length of the AT, and when he finished that hike, he wrote a very fine book. It's one of the most successful books about hiking the AT. It's called Walking the Appalachian Trail. And, uh, and he, he, is, um, he, is, he has made hiking and hiking history a huge part of his life. So he's a delight to talk to because he has an incredible memory. And so you find out all kinds of things about hiking in America just by being within earshot of of Larry Luxembourg, and he's uh, he's a past past uh, board member of the American Hiking Society. He's the founder of the uh, Appalachian Trail Museum in Gardner, Pennsylvania, and that's that venture is going gangbusters. And uh, and so he's I I, I really this is not a professional assessment, but I, I don't, I don't know, I'll put it this way, I don't know anybody who knows about, more about hiking history uh, and trails than Larry Luxembourg. I, I, I want Larry to stand up and introduce a, a guest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, first of all, I, I want you all to do a, a favor for Jim. So behind Chuck on the wall there is, is a pile of books um, of, of Bill Kemsley. These, these are books, that, a, a book that uh, Bill Kemsley wrote and that the AT yeah. Museum uh, published. And, and if you don't take them and make a donation to, to the AT Museum, uh, Jim's going to be stuck with them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's got enough junk in his house. Yes. So, before I introduce the guest, I just want to say one thing about Jim. So there are 11 national scenic trails. Um, you know, the, the cream of the trails in, in the United States. There, there are two living people who started one of those trails, 
and live to see it designated uh, by a president as, as a national scenic trail. Jim is one of the two. Mm -hmm. It's really an amazing feat, and it, it takes like a really strange personality to yes. say, um, here's a blank spot on the map. I'm going to create a 1,300 mile hiking trail. <laughs> so, so it's a tremendous feat. Uh, also with us to, today is, is probably the most famous hiker in America, uh, my, my friend Nimblewell. So Nimblewell got his start. Uh, he decided that the, the Appalachian Trail is, is only five million steps. And he said, that's not difficult enough for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do 10 million steps. I'm going to start in Key West, Florida, where it's nice and warm. And I'm going to keep going till it's freezing cold at Cap Gas Bay in Canada. So uh, he wrote that book, 10 Million Steps. And then he's gone on from there. Um, he's, he's one of the two people who've hiked all of the 11 National wow. Scenic Trails and all 19 of the National Historic Trails. Wow. Uh, a tremendous feat. And, uh, <laughs> When he hiked the, the Florida Trail piece of that, it was a, a, a wet year, and he ended up losing nine toenails that year. I'm not sure what happened to the tent. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I saw him at the Appalachian Long Distance Hikers uh, meeting in uh, Hanover, New Hampshire, um, you know, a afterwards. And, and he's standing there hobbling around. And he couldn't even walk across the Dartmouth campus, and I figured, this guy's finished. Next thing I know, the following spring, he's in North Carolina, heading cross country to San Diego. He just never stopped. And this, this past year, at age 83, he became the oldest person to, to through hike the Appalachian Trail. But again, it wasn't hard enough for him, so he had to start in Alabama, at Flag Mountain, Alabama and do his Bama to Baxter through hike. So he, he walked his way into the record books. Uh, and if you're interested, uh, Backpacker Magazine has, has just uh, profiled him. And in addition to all that, I would say, in, in addition to his hiking, he's the most charismatic hiker of our generation. So, Simba Will, come on. Come here and talk to us. <laughs>
262 days on the trail. I had a running streak of three days out of that 262. I had one three-day running streak that I didn't fall down at least once. Most of those days I fell down in multiple so it was, I, I tell my friends I'm a little slow, well, in a lot of ways, but a little slow. Um, I was two months, maybe 60, 65 days into the hike, a particularly difficult day. It was raining and cold and nasty, and those of you who have spent any time on the Appalachian Trail recently know that most of it's in pretty bad shape as far as the condition of the tread. A lot of rocks and a heck of a lot of roots, and they're difficult enough to walk on on a normal day. But if you have a wet, nasty day, so I'd fallen down two or three times that day, and I was feeling real sorry for myself. And at one point, I just paused, and it just came to me. I had a revelation. I had a revelation. Uh, it finally dawned on me that. There's a reason why 80-year-olds aren't doing it. <laughs> Jim Kern and I met years and years ago. Uh, I guess I can shoot my mouth off about this a little bit, but I think I'm the first person to have done a southbound through hike of the Florida Trail. And I've done it both ways around Orlando. I've done it both ways around the Big O. So I think I'm the first person to have done two complete through hikes, a northbound and a southbound of the Florida area. And uh, we have a lot of friends now that have come and hiked the trail. And I've encouraged people to come and hike the trail. We have a beautiful trail here in Florida, Jim. It's just a beautiful I like road walking, okay? I really do. <laughs> Not to take away from any anything of the, the beauty down there in the, in the oak hammocks or uh, along the Kissimmee or any of the other delightful places up in St. Mark's, but damn, I just enjoy road walking. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you must know a little bit about road walking. Yeah. Brother Nelson rode on the road again while we were hiking across the country. That like came Kansas. Theme song. Yeah, Kansas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think everybody remembers Kentucky, right? <laughs> for road walking. Yeah. 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 Anyway, thanks for inviting me down, Jim, and it was just a joy to be able to come and spend some time. The history of this, I had just a kind of a, a glancing uh, view of what it was and a little bit of information about it, but I didn't really know the incredible importance and the significance of what that hike meant to the entire hiking community and what it means to all of us now, where it started and, and, and uh, how it got going. It's a, just a, a blessing. To me, it's a blessing for sure. It gave me an opportunity in my life to just turn out to be pretty much not worth anything. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I thought I could put this whole thing together in a year. Okay. And, and, and this is interesting now, philosophically, having to do with boards and so on. If you get a good board of directors. I was trying to put this together in a year, and I, and I couldn't seem to admit to myself that it, it, I hadn't allowed enough time. And it was the board of directors who told me, they said, Jim, you're, 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 you're not going to make the departure that you want. And they all voted to postpone it a whole year. And I knew it was the right thing to do. I just uh, didn't have it in me. What? What did you say? I said I didn't have a mic for it. Yeah, over here, too, we had the same reason. Not enough money in 79. Enough money. Enough I see. I was a charter member of AHS. 
Same here. Getting the newsletters. <laughs> and they, Mike came up and I'm going, oh, this is so cool. 79. I'm going, no, no way can I put this together. Yeah. So thank you for posting. Yeah. 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 But we have to thank the board. Yeah. Yes. Thank That's you what board. happened. And as soon as they acted and said that we're going to postpone this, I knew it was the right thing to do. I, I just didn't, I, you know. Goal orientation, you know, that sort of stuff. I'm going to leave on such and such a time to go do something. But that was the case where wisdom, you know, yep. uh, was said otherwise. So that's what happened. So why don't we take a break? Oh, uh, no. People are serving. <laughs> no. Janet People doesn't are want to serve. We've oh, yeah. got some pie to eat. No, Hang on. No, you got to wait. You just put it over there. There it is. Okay. Paul, I need you. Yeah. Okay. I'll be quick, unlike Jim. I enjoyed every minute of it. What did she say? Unlike Jim. Oh, I'm just giving you a hard time. You did not. No, uh uh. Stand up. Janet's been waiting all month for this. Okay. So, hi. For those of you who don't know me, I've been the acting Monty for this reunion. <laughs> so I um I was trying to think, it girl make me cry. <laughs> Stop. Of how to why aren't you talking? <laughs> Thank you. Um so don't worry, your gift is tomorrow. So we'll talk about that later. Um how to, <laughs> how to honor who, God, I don't know. We may consider the father of Haga Nation. So I did a little research. You two, and well, oh, I can't borrow well. Let's pretend, stop it. Pretend <laughs> William's here, Bill Kemsley, okay? <laughs> They're at the PBJ Club. There you go. Here's Bill. Peanut butter. Until he. There you go. Hold There's Paul. Hold it. Hold it. So I decided <laughs> they're the PBJ Club. A PBJ sandwich. A PBJ sandwich is peanut butter, fruit preserves, and jelly, and spread between two pieces of bread. It's open-faced. It's made of a single slice or two slices and some jelly spread in between. You might be the jelly, you might be the peanut butter, he might be the bread, but you made it work. You're the PBJ Aww. Club. Yeah. 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 This is from us. <laughs> and so, and well, you can open it later. But this is for you now. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, oh no, I won't wreck this one. Special trash bag. Yeah, special trash bag. Saved from the hike. Monty's back, you know, Monty's airstream. So, I consider you the father. Oh, wow. I consider you a father. So, Father of Hike Nation, thank you. So, just to what's going on this weekend, for some of you who don't know, is tomorrow night at 4 o'clock at the house that we have rented, Reese, or are you call her? Show me your hand. Luca. Reese will be Zooming his opinions and ideas of being the coordinator, right? Right. He's going to take everybody from Kentucky all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. So if you want to come for that Zoom, you're welcome to do that. After that, there's cocktails. After that, there's Doug's barbecue. Even though Doug's not here, we still have a barbecue. At 6 o'clock, we are going to Zoom old hype buddies. So after you ate, drank, and are merry, you can talk to old hype buddies. Good. We want to make sure you're invited. Okay. Sonny, please come. Thank you. Please come, Larry. On Sunday, maybe around 10, William, our historian's <laughs> William. William in the web. <laughs> Wave, William. <laughs> <laughs> William in the web. This man has been phenomenal in his <laughs> in his holding on to it in a what the website, the internet, and all that. And 
holding on to all our information and logging in in endless hours and <clears throat> anything like that. So I wanted to make sure William showed us how to use the web <laughs> and look at his site. Paula, where's Paula? Paula and Larry will be talking about how they are preserving hyphenation history in a physical format in terms of the museum and what they've done for that. So it's laid back because I had to bribe him with donuts to do this. So, but around maybe 10 o'clock on Sunday before some of you head out, donuts, coffee, brief William and the web, brief Paula and Larry to talk about what Hiker Nation history is doing. So, everyone is welcome. Please come to the house. I'll make sure you have the address and all that. Good. I'm done. I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> yes, <you can. laughs> Yeah. She is a Jim Kern of the yeah. Keeping It All Together and Paula. So Janet and Paula, thank you both. And William, thank you for recording the history. You guys, you three, are special to Jim, Bill, and me for making what we kind of did out of a lark. Yeah, you can't get rid of us, honey. We're here to stay. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you all for being here. Yes. All right. All right, one last thing, guys. I got two things. I know that there's a rival about the people who started and the people who didn't. It doesn't matter to me. I'm a social media coordinator. It's amazing and beautiful that you guys hiked as many miles as you did. I've hiked all of 20, mile, 20 minutes. That's as far as I go. That's as far as I need. But I do want to make sure that I get a picture with the founding father, the vision, the man who put this all together, the man who started here, here. Here, here. this, the man who has this uh, literally this miles and this history of years and years of being great and phenomenal. And I think we should all definitely give Jim a hand and thank him for everything. <laughs> Before we go further, and that is languishing in Congress in spite of the continuous, never-ending effort is the American Discovery Trail, which is modeled after Hika Nation, and we hope someday will be the 12th National Scenic Trail. The, the effort never ends. The American Discovery Trail is, is a, a, a well-organized uh, organization pushing for that based upon this route not exactly the same route, but that's I not important. Hmm? <laughs> what? I did my best. No, 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 You're, no, 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 I'm, I'm saying, I'm getting I'm, out of here. I'm, <laughs> out of here. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying our route, yes. and the American Discovery Trail route is, is not an exact overlap, but that's not important. We gave birth to the American yes, Hunters Discovery yes. Trail, and someday it will happen. Here. Yes. It will be a national scenic trail. It yeah. will happen. So, so that's, that's something that we can be very pleased of. Can I? I know it's annoying you guys, and I appreciate it. I want to get a picture with all of the. If I'm pronouncing this wrong, please correct me, as I know you fabulous hikers will. All the through hikers, and I want a picture of the people who joined in later, and then I want a picture of all you guys together, because every every bit of hiking matters. Everything that Jim did and everything, everyone that joined, it matters, no, regardless of where you joined. Perfect. All right, so let's get, I want a picture with Jim, since he's holding the, technically the US map. So let's get the people who did the through hike, like the whole 